to First Aid Air Gun Reviews. I'm your host Lou and today we're doing another air gun velocity test. We're going to see if uh, they live up to their claims. So far, Crossman's been doing a pretty good job but I'm not done putting them through their paces. This gun here is a, a claimed 800 feet per second with BBs. We're not going to shoot those. We're not really worried about BBs. I'm worried about pellet velocity. They say 750 feet per second with a light alloy pellet. This gun shot last time, I think, in the 630, 630s with a 7.4 grain pellet. I got some light pellets, and then I got some light pellets. I just got some Winchester 4.32 grain pellets, lightest I can find. We're only going to do five shot tests because uh, these tell pellets are uh, a little pricey. So, you know, I just uh, we'll get an average of five instead of shooting ten. But we're going to put us through its paces, and we're going to see if the uh, Crossman MK177 can live up to the hype. Before it didn't, but now we're going to give it a shot with some lighter pellets, and we'll see how close we get to that 750 feet per second. Winchester 4.32 grain tin alloy pellet. Well, I got to say, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, average of 751 with a claim of 750. They definitely hit the mark. Exceeded the mark with a max of 763. There you go, folks. Just a FYI, my dumbass left the uh, lens cap on the scope on the first two shots. Kimmy! Ended up being a inch and a half center to center on five shots. Not really that good. Uh, we'll, we'll give these pellets uh, more trials later. That was a quick uh, look at the chronograph numbers and a little bit of accuracy. You know what time it is now. It's time to shoot some clay. Ended up being inch and three quarters on the entrance and three eighths on the exit. All right, man, you know, uh, what I want to do is hold these uh, manufacturers uh, to their claim velocities. I'm here at sea level, so, you know, I got all the oxygen in the world here. So uh, when I pump it up, uh, unless they're in some sort of hyperbaric chamber where they can get uh, more oxygen than me, uh, I'm, you know, I'm as close as they're going to get. I'm indoors, too. Uh, so no wind or anything like that. Uh, anyway, I must be a Crossman fanboy. <laughs> Uh, I do like Crossman, I'm not going to lie. Uh, I didn't think that the MK177 was going to reach the 750 feet claimed uh, per second. Uh, let me take a look here. Yeah, I ended up with a max of 763 feet per second with a Winchester 4.32 grain pellet. Uh, but now with the 7.4 grain pellet, we were doing 630s, but we were getting a whole, more or less a, a whole foot pound more muzzle energy uh, with a heavier pellet. So yeah, just for velocity fun, it reaches it. I'm always going to try and uh, hold them to that. And like I said, if you're shooting something that's blasting 1400 feet per second and you're getting bad groups because it's breaking the sound barrier and your pellets are going like this, just get a heavier pellet. So it does shoot the claim velocity, 100%. I don't know about BBs, I'm not interested in BBs. Somebody else can do that video. But pellets, it definitely meets, uh, exceeds. Just like the uh, Crossman 2289 and the 1377, uh, the, the MK17, they're all beating the claim velocities, at least where I'm at here in, uh, in Delaware. Uh, I'm digging it. Now, uh, like I said, you're losing a whole foot pound of energy. And this is, you know, more of a just a plinking target gun. Anyhow, having fun. You might shoot a squirrel or a bird, uh, especially starlings, uh, because I can't stand them. Uh, at close range, you know, 10 to 30 feet max, 10, you know, 10 yards max, man. That's all you're doing with that. But there you go. We're going to do some more testing. I got a few more guns we're going to check out. Uh, we're going to do a few more reviews of everything I can get my hands on. I hope you guys are finding some of this informative and entertaining at the same time. Uh, I want you all to have a great day. See you next time.